it's an amazing sight to see many thousands of fish in the stream all trying to come upstream. So it's a cause for celebration. Dams are a huge problem for migratory fish species like alewives. It matters that the alewives can have passage to their home waters, their native ancestral home, to connect our oceans, our streams, rivers, bays, and lakes. The alewife is a keystone species. My name is Tina Wood, and I'm the founder of Upstream. Upstream's uh, mission is dedicated to restoring Sea Run Fish Passage on Cobbesee Stream. Uh, Gardner is a lovely river city on the Kennebec, and Cobbesee Stream flows in. Cobbesee Stream was the lifeblood of early Gardner. When settlers arrived, they realized the power of the water. Eventually, eight granite dams were built in the mile and a quarter above the Kennebec River. They supplied mill power to paper mills, to all sorts of other small companies. Over the years, all of the mills have moved out, shut down and closed. Right now, in downtown Gardner, there are three dams that date back into the first half of the 19th century. River herring, and we parse that out, we call them collectively blueback herring and, and alewives river herring. And they're anadromous, like the Pacific salmon, like our own Atlantic salmon. We have, we have about a dozen species here in Maine that are anadromous. And what that means is, is they're principally an oceanic fish, but they're obligate freshwater spawners. They must return to freshwater to spawn. And most of them, the vast majority of the species, return to their natal waters to spawn. During the colonial period, everybody knew what these were, okay? This was the original Dorito, okay? You got these things in the spring, you salted them, you smoked them, you put them up as protein for the long, cold, hard winter. You, you knew it was coming. They went into your garden, they fed your corn patch, they fed your squash, they fed your kids, you know, that was critical, you know? And then the Industrial Revolution comes along and literally in an eye blink, it all disappeared. The numbers of our native species are much, much lower than they were historically. And that's because of the large numbers of, of dams in our rivers, which block fish, make it, um, in many cases, completely impossible for fish to get back to their native habitat. So when we look at the species as a whole, historically it's been reduced in its population 96 to 97 percent. Once people start to understand the connection and that, that bit about being a keystone species and they start seeing more bald eagles and they start seeing more loons and they start seeing more osprey and great blue herons and all the other things connected to everything, belted kingfisher, when you look at the number of different species that consume river herring across the board, both in the freshwater and the marine environment, you start to get a pretty good understanding of how complex and how critical this species is to a healthy and diverse ecosystem. The city and our community has really embraced the alewife and it has been just a delight to have people say, when is fish passage gonna happen? I'm a firm believer that science has to be a hands-on event. And my friend Tina, 
asked if we would like to be involved in Upstream and the Elwives collection. So every year I take all of my classes down to the dam and we are gathering data for what we hope to be 10 years of data that at some point will allow us to harvest alewives in the town of Gardner. We look for the fish in this specific spot because of the dam. So the dam hinders any progress of them for, any, for moving potentially upstream. And so any given day that you come here, there's between uh, 100,000 and 500,000 fish that are there really trying their hardest to get back up to the place that they were born. For creatures like alewives, their numbers will begin to rebound as soon as fish are able to make their way upstream to, to reproduce. When you talk about fish passage, you talk about changes to an ecosystem that are, for the most part, excellent, simply because these are fish that belong here. These are fish that were designed to be in these waters. One reason why so many people are enthusiastic about this is because the watershed has so much potential. The Department of Marine Resources estimates that full access could bring more than three million adult alewives uh, up from the ocean into this system each year. Currently our goal is to get up past the lower three dams into the Pleasant Pond and Cobbesy Stream portion of the watershed. We're really fortunate because river herring, which is the species that we really want to restore here, are really good at using well-designed fish passages. And we also have to have fish passages for American eel because everything that we find in science indicates is that the American eel export a significant amount of nutrients that we do not want in the lakes today. that dams remain in place with no purpose and no fish passage is a loss. It's a, it's a loss for the local communities, it's a loss for wildlife, and it's a loss uh, truly for the Gulf of Maine. You know, everything in the marine environment, if it can get its mouth around one, you know, bluefin, tuna, whales, uh, you know, uh, bluefish, striped bass, halibut, cod, haddock, they all eat them. These fish are highly in demand. Lobstermen need them for lobster bait. Uh, the Asian community needs them for fish sauce. And Canada wants as many as they can get. They're actually canning American alewife and using it for food aid in the Caribbean. Once you've established a run, you're gonna have a lot of fish coming back, perhaps more than you want to have in the watershed. And that's when you establish a commercial harvest and create a revenue stream for the municipalities. There's a lot of discussion here about concerns about too many fish. The state of Maine has spectacular success with restoration efforts. We are able to do projects that truly cannot be even imagined in other states. We have been able to bring back millions and millions of alewives that support just an incredible number of birds and other fish. And throughout each of these projects in Maine, there have been questions of every kind from engineers, from scientists, but people have 
come together and for these types of technical questions there are always answers. Show me the one water body that is tanked because we've performed restoration on it and you're not going to find it. I invite you to the story of the Alwife and hope that you will be part of the solution and be a voice for the little fish.